want to make sure you know that we are saying farewell, not goodbye to our dear friend John, because John is coming back as Anchor Emeritus. I'll be back from time to time for some mm -hmm. of those big events that we cover, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, maybe to fill in every now and then. It's still have fun. me, you know. I, I'm, I'm looking. Door is always that. open, partner. We had so <laughs> yeah. much fun this week talking about our memories uh, with you over the last 23 mm -hmm. years here at WTHR uh, and 42 years as a journalist. It's a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it was hard to give really a full picture of uh, John this whole, you know, you can't do it in just one no. night. So that's right. why we've been trying to spread it out over these last couple of nights. Well, let's take a look at some of these old pictures here. <laughs> For nearly four decades, John Starr has covered the biggest stories. The first escape route was gone. The explosion took out half the hallway and the stairs that led to the safety of the bottom floor taking viewers around the world. She completed her journey to sainthood here at the Vatican. Celebrated his community. To the heart of Indianapolis, right here in Monument Circle. And given viewers a front row seat to history. Live from the heart of central Indiana. While John spent most of his time in Indianapolis, he began his career in Erie, Pennsylvania. WSEE Erie. It was 1980, and he was just 21 when WSEE named him the solo anchor for its evening newscast. But soon, it was off to Indy for the first stint here at Wish TV. That's all from here. Now here's John Stair. Thanks, Mike. John also made stops in Grand Rapids and Salt Lake City before he headed back east to help launch a little business channel. Maybe you've heard of it, CNBC. Well, John was a founding anchor in 1989, and soon his business and consumer reporting experience earned him a spot at CBS This Morning. Good evening. I'm Ann Ryder. And I'm John Stair. 23 years ago, John returned to Indianapolis, joining Ann Ryder on the anchor desk. Torch is due to arrive here on Monument Circle. This is a big event. Market Square Arena is no more. That is what is left of it. Over the years, John has made a point to take viewers to places they would never see and introduce them to people they would never meet on their own. Each of those warheads was big enough to take out a city the size of Indianapolis. In Russia, he chronicled Senator Richard Lugar's efforts to disarm nuclear weapons. In the 1979 Soviet invasion, threw Afghanistan into chaos. John toured the Middle East with then-Congressman Mike Pence. But it's not all serious with John. John and I have been partners on the WTHR newscast since 1999, and we have shared a lot of laughs. Ready, hit it. Yeah, I was in the backseat. I'm goose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In the back seat. And I've been part of some of the city's biggest events. The greatest race in the world, the Indianapolis 500. Yep. But the biggest sporting event, the Olympics. Welcome back to Centennial Olympic Park in Atlanta. John has covered 12 games. A couple of years ago, we tried our hands at a few sports. Let's just say we're not destined to be Olympic athletes. But what was probably John's biggest challenge came last summer, when he became the story, and he shared his recovery from a complicated heart surgery. I've got a, a life that uh, I'm blessed to have. Yeah, I'd like that to continue. John spent his recovery supported by his wife, Amy, and their children, Morgan, Connor, Riley, Jeannie, and Meredith. John's firstborn son, Jared, passed away when he was just four years old. Now, John is focusing his efforts on helping the St. Vincent Cardiovascular Research Institute and the medical team that has done so much to get him back in top health. As John gets ready to retire, all of us at WTHR thank him for his years of dedication to journalism. Hmm. 42 years and, what, a couple of minutes there. It's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of hard to imagine so much time has gone by. Yeah, yeah but what what a great time. I mean, you look at that, and, yeah. and you know, we, we talk about this career, you know, being 24-7 and the hardship, but there are so many opportunities, too. Yeah, a lot of great memories, and, and the best part of it is, not only were we able to do these things and go to these places, but bring those impressions back and bring those stories back to the people in central Indiana who really have given me so much. It's glad that I'm glad to be able to return some of that to them and, and that we've been able to do that for the past 23 years. Uh, I've been in quite a ride, my friend, and uh, an honor to spend just a little Thank bit you. of time with you. Thank uh, you. And I have a couple of final thoughts, and I'm going to share those with you coming up after we take this short break.